Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five really easy, really inexpensive ways to make your home feel cozy for fall. This is my empty, boring living room. I'm not in love with the leather couches. I think they feel cold and I really want to make this space feel warm and cozy. So I'm going to share with you how to do that fast. The first thing you have to do is layer a lot of blankets and pillows. It really makes your space feel so cozy. Don't fold the blankets, simply drape them over one end and pile the pillows in one end to really make it feel inviting. And a blanket ladder is another perfect way to add some texture and softness to your space. The next thing I did was added some white and wood. That's why Farmhouse is so popular. It feels clean and fresh and it feels really cozy at the same time. So I made these farmhouse signs they have that exposed wood frame but they're really big and white so it makes the space feel clean bright and cozy all at once I had my local hardware store actually cut some wood to the size that I wanted for the backboard and I just painted it white with some old paint and I had them cut the pieces for the frame as well and I stained them using a walnut stain. The wood was really rough, it wasn't staining great so I ended up going over it with some white just to whitewash it a little bit so it wasn't so dark. If you have any other type of wood besides this cheap stuff I had, you wouldn't have to do this step. Then I simply marked where I wanted my words to go and I used my Cricut to cut out the saying and so together they built a life that they love but you can if you don't have a Cricut you can get a local sign making shop to cut the vinyl for you it's so inexpensive I also made a smaller one doing the exact same thing the hardware store cut all the pieces for me I built the frame just using some screws and then nailed on the back this is really fast and really inexpensive expensive to make a beautiful fall sign for your home. Next, it's really important to bring the outdoors in. I'm in love with these leaves they have at the Dollar Tree this year. They actually have teal and blue and white, which is what we base the entire color scheme on. So definitely you can do this on a small budget. You can also find sticks and lots of nature that you can bring in, whether it's pumpkins, acorns, pine cones. Not only does it look sweet and like fall, but it really just, it's nostalgic, right? It brings back your childhood of pumpkin picking and jumping in leaves and that's so important in giving that cozy feel to your home. If you have a corner in your home or a space that you just don't know what to do with, big oversized baskets, they're amazing. Not only do they fill your space, give you a spot to hide your clutter, but they definitely give you that fall feel that you're looking for. You don't have to buy a big oversized basket though, they can be so expensive. If you have an old sweater and a box or an old bin, you can absolutely make yourself a beautiful and functional basket. And last but not least, I really want you to create a signature scent for your home. I'm not a huge essential oil person, but there is something to be said by how amazing they smell and they're actually pretty inexpensive in comparison to candles because they last a really long time. My favorite blend is a few drops of orange, clove, cinnamon bark, and vanilla. I put this in my diffuser, it lasts for hours and it smells amazing. That is my home's fall signature scent. It didn't take long to take my living room from a bland, boring box to a cozy fall retreat. And almost everything you see is actually from the Dollar Tree or Dollarama. I'm gonna put a link down below to my latest video where I show you how you can create things. But honestly, head to your dollar store or head outside, find some things that you can bring in, move things around, it won't take long. The hard part is just getting started. You deserve a beautiful home this fall.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I replaced the butthole painting. I loved that butthole painting, probably even more because it l looked exactly like a butthole and it made me laugh every time I saw it. But you know what loved it more than me? My camera, my camera. So every time I've tried to vlog, I don't have a lot of backgrounds in this house. We need a new house. That's another video. But the camera was always focusing, I think it thought it was an eye. It could be an eye. Vote below, butthole or I. My vote is butthole. But the point is, every time, my camera will autofocus on the butthole and I'll be completely blurry. And it's just, it had to go. It had to go. So that's why I changed it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.